Hello guys, welcome to another video on labor economics. In this video, let's talk about diminishing marginal product of labor. Suppose that you have a pizza shop and you are producing very delicious pizza for your customers and you want to hire labor in order to do your services for your customers. And if you start the first workers for producing your pizza for your customers, they will produce 10 pizza within one hour. When you have two workers, they will produce 21 units. When you have three workers, they will produce 26 units. When they were, or there are four workers, they will produce 29 units. Again, when there are five workers, they will produce again 29 units. So the question is, what is the average product of labor, marginal product of labor? What is the relationship between average, marginal, and total product of labor? How they are connected to each other? So the average product of labor is the total amount of output over to the total number of labor. Here, average product of labor, when you have just one, wor one worker and you are producing 10 pizza, then 10 over divided by 1 is 10. You are producing 21 and you have two workers, 21 divided by 2 is 10.5. 26 divided by 3, 29 by, divided by 4, again 29 divided by 4, this is the reason. And when you are finding marginal product of labor is equal to the change in quantity of output over the change in number of labor. When you see here the change in number of labor in each case is just one one and the change in quantity of your output or your pizza that you're producing for your customers here is 10 to 21, 29, 20, 26, 26 to 29, again 29 to 29. So if you find out the marginal product of labor by this formula, when you have I just your first workers and he produced then output for you, so the change in output is 10, the change in number of workers is 1, so the marginal product of one employee or one worker will be 10. When you are hiring the second one, the second employee's marginal product will be the change in output over the change in number of workers. The change in output is 11, the change in workers is 1, 11 divided by 1 is 11. Here, the change is 5 divided by 1, 5. The change is 3 divided by 1, 3. The change is 0 divided by 1 is 0. So how to find the relationship? First of all, consider the marginal product of labor. Marginal product of labor follows the law of diminishing marginal return. Why? You can see when we have the first workers to produce pizza, the marginal product of the first workers is 10, the marginal product of the second workers is 11. But when we hire the third worker, again, the marginal product will be declined from 11 to 5. So the first marginal product increased, then again decreased. So it says the marginal product of labor or marginal product of an input is diminishing after some point. So the relationship, let's see by, in order to find out the relationship, let's talk about the, the curve of each of them. So when we draw the curve of total product, so here is labor, here is a quantity, of your pizza that you're producing for your customers. So when you are, you have one employees, he will produce 10, two employees, 21, three employees, 26, four employees, 29, again, five employees, 29, six employees, maybe 26 number of pizzas within one hour. So you can see here, your total product curve is not a, a linear curve. Why? Because your total product will increase up to some point, then again it will increase in a decreasing rate, then it will reach to the highest point, again it will decrease. Again it will decrease after hiring more number of labor in your companies. And also when we see here marginal product of labor, when your total product is increasing in increasing rate up to this point, your marginal product is increasing. But after that point, when your total product is increasing back in decreasing rate, your marginal product will decline. And when your total product reach at the highest point, your marginal product will be equal to zero. Why is this? Because when you move, more than that point, adding one additional unit of labor will not contribute on increasing your total amount of output. Either 
it will decline the total amount of output because for producing your for that your pizza for your customers you need both capital and labor just having more labor more and more labor will not contribute too much on producing your output because you need both a factor of production for producing your output so and then we are draw we are drawing the the curve of average product of labor when we see here just just the uh, pl pl plot the average product of labor with the uh, labor quantity here we will have this curve average product of labor so consider here when the marginal product of labor is greater than average product of labor in this area the marginal product of labor is greater than average product of labor you can see that your average product of labor is increasing your average product of labor is increasing and when average product of labor is at the highest point is at the highest point marginal product of labor and average product of labor cross each other and when your marginal product of labor is less than average product of labor then your average product of labor is declining your average product of labor is declining so this is the numerical example for finding average product of labor marginal product of labor and the relationship between average marginal and total product of labor i hope now you know the law of diminishing marginal product of labor and the relationship between marginal product average product and total product that you can create and you produce by using labor as a unit of production or as a factor of production i hope this video will be helpful for you in order to see more videos from my youtube channel consider subscription see you next time